consomme, one of my favorite broths. It can be used as a soup, it can be used as a sauce. Consomme is about clarity of flavor. It's about a beautifully, deeply flavored broth, completely clear with the impurities taken out. Let's get it. Now what we're doing with the consomme is we're basically making a stock. Now a good stock starts with a good base of vegetable and we're talking mirepoix. I haven't got leeks today because I want to add the green onion element in at the end in the raft, which we'll talk about in a minute. The stock base starts like this, onion. Take the top off, the bottom off, in half and you peel it. We're going to keep the onion quite chunky, into quarters, straight in your tray. Once the onions are in, we're looking at celery. Take off the ends if there's any nasty bits, in half, quite chunky, they go straight in. Bay leaf, into the pan, that's going to allow the start of that aromatic base you get with all good stocks. Some crushed garlic, now we're onto the carrots. Top and bottom, if the skin's nice and clean like these are, just in half or if they're big, into thirds. As a lot of our classic cookery does, this dish originates in France. King Louis demanded a soup so clear that he could see his kingly reflection in it. Tomato, just in half, straight into the pan. Now, tomato isn't your average mirepoix vegetable, but it brings acidity, it brings clarity of flavor, it brings a slight freshness into your stock. Button mushrooms, just take down in half, and this is gonna help bring depth and color to that stock. Oil, fat, lubrication. We need this to help transfer the heat from the oven onto the vegetables without drying them out. So a good glug of that all over your veg. Salt, no, because we're gonna make a stock. That stock will reduce, will intensify the flavor, and we don't want to intensify the salt. So a little bit of oil, no salt, no pepper at this stage. Give them a good toss with your hands, and then we'll go straight into the oven. We're roasting, we're caramelizing the vegetables in order to make a base for the stock. I want chicken in my consomme, and that's gonna come in the form of wings. Straight out the pack, double jointed into a tray. Same story as the veg, we need a little bit of lubrication just to help the caramelization. Give these a good toss, massage that oil in, straight in the oven. We're gonna leave all that to roast for about 25 minutes. Now at this stage, we take everything out. Got our chicken, beautiful golden brown, and the oven has done all the hard work for us. Our vegetables, lightly charred, caramelized. We wanna get ourselves a nice big stock pot and empty everything in, just discarding that first little drip of fat that comes out. And get the vegetables straight in there. Now what you will notice, thank you, about these trays is they've got little bits of golden brown goodness stuck to the bottom. And what do we want to do? We want to extract that flavor out. So with a bottle of wine, half in each pan, and what wine will also do is bring a beautiful layer of acidity to this consomme. They're gonna stay in there for about 10, 15 minutes. And what you end up with, is this golden brown liquor infused with that chicken caramel. Same with the vegetable, you just pour them together. And then you simply pour that over your bones and your veg. Now all you want to do is top this up with water, a good amount, give it a quick stir, and we get it onto the heat. We're going to bring this up to the boil now, and when it comes up, we just want to skim off some of the scum that comes to the top of that broth. So we've got to the stage where our stock is skimmed. We've had it simmering for about 35 to 40 minutes and that's just to infuse those stunning caramelized flavors from the vegetable and the chicken. What we want to do is look at making our raft. We've got an array of fresh ingredients in front of us here. Tarragon, parsley, lemon, garlic and the reason we're involving these fresh flavors at this stage is because we want to capture the things they bring. That's freshness, that's impact of flavor, things that make you go, mmm, and that's what we want. So we're gonna add them into the raft and infuse that last layer at the last stage. Now what I'm about to say isn't very appetizing. A raft is an eggy flavor bomb. We're looking at fresh flavors blended together with proteins to collect the scum and impurities in that consomme. Herbs, straight into a blender. Then we go garlic, spring onions. I like spring onions. They bring an allium hit to the dish. Couple of peels of lemon zest, just for that freshness. A chicken breast to bolster the chicken flavor. Now the integral bit, the raft, and that comes from egg white. So eggs, separated and the egg whites go straight in. Now you might be asking, Azza, why is it only egg white? 
Well, when you cook a full egg, what does the egg white do? It captures the fat, it captures the richness of the yolk, and it emulsifies it together. That's what we want the egg white to do in this. We want to capture the impurities, capture the fat content in the consomme, bind it to it, cook, hold it, and then skim it out. At this stage, all you do, close her up and blend. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can go for a food processor or a blender, but this needs to be infused the flavor extracted and everything blended together. He's done. We're gonna take this to one side and strain off our stock. For straining the stock, you want a chinois. You want something with the smallest possible holes so those impurities are starting to get sifted out at this stage as well. Chinois into a bowl, you just pour your stock over the top. Take that steaming sieve or chinois of goodness and just let it drain back over the original pan for about five to 10 minutes. Now, what would happen if I was to add this protein flavor bomb eggy flavor bomb straight into our consomme. What would happen? The egg would cook instantly. If it cooks too quickly, it won't be able to bind on to the impurities inside of that consomme. So we won't get the full effect that that raft can bring. You wanna add it in when it's about room temperature, then slowly bring it up to a rolling simmer. So at this stage, we wait for it to cool. The vegetables that come out of this are absolutely delicious. So if you wanna put them to one side, pickle the meat down and make maybe a chicken pie filling from the guppings in this chinois, you absolutely can. So take it out. Once all of that beautiful golden liquor has dripped out of the chinois, just place to one side. The rest of our stock back into that pan. I've let this cool now for the egg to be added in, not too hot, that it's gonna cook straight away. So take your slurry and whisk as you're pouring it straight into that pan. And what you wanna do when that first goes in is whisk as hard as you can so all that egg and all that protein finds the impurities, finds those elements of the consomme that we want to extract. So now we put this onto a medium heat. At this stage, I'm gonna add some black pepper. What you want to happen is all those proteins to lift, cook to the top of that stock and then for the stock to roll through and filter out the impurities. Now that happens when you whisk at the start of cooking, place onto a medium stove, not too hot, because the proteins will stick to the bottom of the pan and burn, and then poach that raft in that stock. So this is gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes for the raft to form, and then for that clarification to start kicking in. Finally, we are done. Our raft has done its job, all the small particles and bits and pieces that you saw originally in that stock have cooked. They've created larger particles that have then stuck onto the raft and completely clarified this stock. There's one more control point that we can go through as cooks to make sure this consomme is as clear as King Louis himself intended, and that is straining through a J cloth, a clean one. This could be muslin cloth. This could be a tea towel that goes into the bottom of your chinois and or sieve. And then we collect the consomme with a ladle, not disturbing that raft and pour through our strainer and our cloth. Now this is a labor of love. It will take a long time, but through straining and ladling, you create a premium finished product. So we lift the chinois out. At this stage, you just rectify the seasoning. A little bit of salt, beautiful, it's round. It's deep, it's got the flavor of chicken and vegetables, the acidity from the white wine, the freshness from that parsley, tarragon, garlic and lemon zest. They're all singing in unison. This is a proper consomme made exactly as it should be. An amazing bowl of goodness, good enough for King Louis himself. Ah, thank you.